This is a CJ Jason podcast. My name is Carolina Lopez Silva, and I am a second year medical student at the Johns Hopkins University School of Medicine. And I am Teresa Chen, an assistant professor of medicine in nephrology, also from Johns Hopkins. Today, we are very excited to share the findings from our new study, Comparison of Aptomer-based and Antibody-based Assays for Protein Quantification in Chronic Kidney Disease. We believe that understanding the human proteome and its role in disease can help us improve the diagnosis and treatment of many medical conditions, including chronic kidney disease. With the rapid progression of research in proteomics, many new tools have been developed. These include novel aptomer-based assays that use small nucleotides to bind target proteins. Compared to more traditional immunoassays, these aptomer-based assays offer much higher throughput, with the ability to measure over 7,000 analytes from a single sample which is incredible, but we wanted to better understand the uses and limitations of this tool, specifically in the context of kidney disease. So in our study, we compared the performance of aptomer-based assays to traditional immunoassays for measuring eight immune activation biomarkers and one kidney function biomarker among people with chronic kidney disease and hypertension. And what did we find? Measurements of cystatin C in our looking eight and soluble tumor necrosis factor receptor 1A and 1B had strong correlations between assays. Also, actomer-based assays were able to detect associations of these biomarkers with clinical outcomes, such as incident kidney failure and mortality. Yes, but on average, the associations with clinical outcomes were stronger for immunoassay-based measurements than for aptomer-based measurements. Overall, we concluded that aptomer-based methods are an efficient and reliable technique to quantify some, but not all, proteins in chronic kidney disease. This study adds to the ever-growing body of research on proteomics and nephrology, and we are very excited to share our findings with you. You can read more in C. Jason. Thank you for listening. This podcast is copyrighted by the American Society of Nephrology, all rights reserved. All content in this podcast is for informational purposes only and is not intended to be medical advice. This podcast should not be used in a medical emergency or for the diagnosis or treatment of any medical condition. Please consult your doctor or other qualified healthcare provider if you have any questions about any medical condition or before taking any drug changing your diet, or commencing or discontinuing any course of treatment. Thank you for listening to this podcast from the American Society of Nephrology.